700 kilometers off the coast of the South American country of Chile, in the Juan Fernandez Archipelago, the towering volcanic mountains of Robinson Crusoe rise dramatically from the Pacific Ocean. Just like in the novel that inspired its name, paradise can change in an instant. Tsunami. Tsunami. No sé, para mí, un tsunami, no sé, no, nunca lo asimilé que hacer así tan, tan terrible, salirse al mar. Today is another anniversary of the tsunami disaster. In February 2010, a massive 8.8 magnitude earthquake rocked the Chilean mainland, launching a merciless wall of water that would slam into Robinson Crusoe in less than 45 minutes. Five, Amidst four, the wreckage was three, scientific equipment two, for detecting a global man-made danger. In 2003, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, CTBTO, installed a monitoring station on Robinson Crusoe to detect nuclear testing in the Pacific Ocean. But in the blink of an eye, the tsunami swept the station from its foundation. This is the old CPF uh, that we used to have here. The, here was the door. You can I remember I, I entered here and there was a two air conditioning. Marcelo Rossi was the caretaker of the Robinson Crusoe monitoring station. We used to have two systems of uh, dishes here. This weighed a lot, and those were swept away from the tsunami. The other one is underwater, over there. Since 1996, 183 countries have signed the United Nations Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty voluntarily agreeing to stop or never begin the testing of nuclear weapons. Nuclear tests have been an issue uh, for a long time. Uh, Lacina Serbo is the executive secretary the for the CTBTO. Uh, it's important to limit the proliferation of weapon of mass destruction, which goes by testing. And by doing so, we stop newcomers into the field of possessing nuclear weapons. But not only this, we also stop those who have it to not develop more sophisticated nuclear weapons. As countries sign up for the treaty, compliance needs to be verified by hard data. Right now we are at the International Data Center at CTBTO headquarters in Vienna. Georgios Haralabas is responsible for hydroacoustic engineering for CTBTO. The IMS, the International Monitoring System, uh, is a network of 321 stations and 16 laboratories to monitor continuously the world for signs of uh, nuclear explosions. In a sense, it's a global alarm system and is unique. Before the tsunami, Robinson Crusoe was linked to that alarm system. And now, after four years of rebuilding, in 2014 it is finally ready to be reconnected. A cable is brought ashore from a ship and initial tests begin. CRF, CRF, this is the cable vault. This is CRF. Hey, everything is checked out. Uh, the calibration is complete. The island may be back online, but the CTBTO global network is still facing its biggest challenge yet. Eight countries have yet to ratify the Test Ban Treaty, and so the Test Ban Treaty has not yet entered into force. In the meantime, Robinson Crusoe, the ocean sentinel, has resumed its vigil. This report was produced by Austin Haberly for the United Nations.